Hi guys, this is uh this is Tim. This will be a short tutorial on importing a um, a house or whatever building you have from Revit, a recent version of Revit, maybe 2011 to 2013, and uh, importing it via FBX into Blender 2.64. Um, this will require a custom build of Blender. I'll put the link in the description. For, uh, from graphical.org uh, because uh, there is no at the moment native import into um, into Blender for FBX file formats. So what we're going to do is I've got Revit open. Uh, here's my little house I did. Anyway, I'm going to export that as an FBX file by the uh, the little cube icon up the top or not cube it's a square and it's got a you know whatever the Revit logo on it up in the top left I'm gonna hit it and I'm gonna go down export you have to be in a 3D view I'm pretty sure so to go into a 3D view say you're in a uh, say you're in a level drawing um, navigate to the top of the window and there's a little I think a little 3D house click that once you go into a 3D view then, uh, like I said, export, then export it as a FBX. I'm going to save this as um, house underscore raw on my desktop. Actually, I might save it into a folder just so I keep everything tidy. So there's house underscore raw. Um, save that. Now open up this little secondary program released by Autodesk called the FBX Converter. Um, it's pretty small and it's free to download so just download that the link is in the description and open that up there's two panels in front of you divided down the middle on the left um, you'll import your raw file well it's not really raw just I called it raw uh, the original file from Revit import that and then on the right you'll have a few settings for the new file. You can export it as an obj, .obj file, which Blender does have support for. However, I'm going to be talking about FBX in this tutorial. So, you open it up, uh, load the raw file in, then on the right, uh, change the settings to export as FBX. 2012 or 2013, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then down, I think it's under binary or something, put it as ASCII. That's uh, important, it has to be ASCII. Now change the export uh, directory to the folder and rename it to um, maybe house underscore exported or house underscore whatever. It, it's pretty irrelevant. Anyway. Now we can open up the uh, special build of Blender that we got from graphical.org that should be as a zip file on a PC and you just execute the um, executable, executable, whatever, the exe. Double click that, open up Blender. Now there should be under file import, there should be FBX already there. If it is not, go file user settings, then under add-ons, then scroll down until you reach the import export section look for FBX import not export there should already be an export one there and check it now uh, close that window and go file export uh, import and FBX should be there okay so um, click file import FBX and Find the folder that you saved the new version, whatever it was, house underscore exported. Not the, not the raw version from Revit, but the, the edited one. And uh, click that. Now it should import everything into your default scene. If you haven't deleted the cube, that'll still be there. But everything that was imported from Revit should be highlighted, like selected. Uh, I press M and then 2 or click the second little box. That'll move everything Revity over to there. Then I just click that little layer so I only see that layer. I don't see anything original from Blender. Um, your house will be rotated 90 degrees. 
press Rx then 90. Uh, actually, it might be Rx negative 90. I'm not quite sure. Uh, just so that it's level as you would expect. Now, um, pick two points of reference, say like a wall that you know the dimensions of in Revit. Say a wall is um, 10 meters long. For my house here, the, uh, the points between the very widest, the two wings, are, um, are 20 meters. So I'm going to scale it until it fits all in a 20 meter block so that the scale is pretty much the same. Well, it'll be similar uh, to that of Revit, so everything's nicely scaled. This will um, this will affect cycles because cycles is a, uh, I think, unbiased rendering or it's like it's uh, whatever a particle rendering engine um, path ray tracing kind of stuff. Uh, because if you have really really small geometry, it'll be affected differently by the light than if you had a house that was 50 kilometers wide. Um, anyway, so uh, now you've got your geometry, geometry there. Things should be split up by materials and objects, which is great because the FBX does that. Other exporters like STL um, exports, exports it as all one big object and you've got to select the, the geometry in edit mode and separate it and it'll take a long while. Anyway, I'm just going to select the windows here and um, in under cycles apply a nice glass texture. Then I'm going to light it with a sun lamp, maybe an environmental image uh, for some lighting. Play around with it. Do whatever you want. Now you can, um, everything's just standard geometry. You can select the full floor and UV map it with a nice wood texture or concrete or whatever you want really. Uh, set up the camera and there you go. You've got your Revit file in Blender for rendering and um, editing and animating and really whatever you want to do. So I hope this uh, this helped. It's um, I think Cycles, well certainly Blender internal is a much faster rendering engine than uh, Revit, I guess, depending on what kind of computer you have, but yeah, it gives you uh, more freedom, I found, I found anyway, so there you go, okay, thanks.